Taya Kyle is the widow of Navy SEAL Chris Kyle and a Fox News contributor. She joins us right now. Taya, I'm outraged by this. But some say, well, wait a second, you, in the past, maybe some soldiers have been used by politicians or people who want to get ahead. Do you see a political motive in, in President Trump pointing out uh, Corinne Owens? You know, Brian, I don't think that we can ever get in the si inside the head of somebody else. I can tell you that Ryan didn't sign up to serve only Republicans or Democrats. He didn't give his life so that he'd be applauded he went into this silent professional mode and he did what he does and he died knowing more about the threats against us than most people ever will. For that alone, he deserves respect. I don't care in what environment or from who, he deserves our respect. He did it for all of us. Absolutely. Uh, apparently, President Trump invited her to this particular uh, joint session of Congress when he spoke to her on the phone after her husband was killed. Uh, nonetheless, it is driven because some on the left say, oh, he was used, uh, he used her as a prop. There's a tweet by a former Clinton uh, volunteer by the name of Dan Grillo, also worked for Obama, wrote that, tweeted this out. Sorry, Owen's wife, you're not helping yourself or your husband's memory by standing there and clapping like an idiot. Trump just used you. Well, that guy wound up getting fired by the company he was working for. But for him to refer to a woman who lost her husband, uh, you know, overseas, a Navy SEAL, as an idiot, there are no words for that. Yeah, there really are no words. I mean, it's, I think, any of us who hear that, who have a heart and an understanding of what service is, are horrified by it, and we see the ignorance of that statement. And I think it goes back to Corinne being anything but a fool and knowing that there will always be haters. There will be people that will be hateful about any decision that not only the president makes, but the service members. She knows that. She knows what she's in for, but she went to honor her husband. She went to say that her husband, who did this silently for years, served valiantly, was successful in helping this country, deserved some recognition. And if the president wants to give it, she's going to show up so that her husband can be recognized. And I applaud her. She's anything but a fool. Yeah. And such a slap in the face for the people who have given so much for our country, including you. I know Marcus Luttrell was friends with, uh, with Ryan Owens. I know that you are, too. The Navy SEAL community is so tight. Y'all all love each other and support each other. We can't pretend to know what she's going through, but you know from experience what it's like to lose your spouse, sacrificing so much for this great country. So take us into her mind. What do you think she was going through? And have you talked to her? Yeah, I mean, I know um, people who are very close to her and we've had some communication in that regard, but the fact is that she's intensely private. She has no desire to be in front of anybody, but she found the courage to get up there again, knowing that there would be people who would say horrible things about her because she believed that her husband deserved the recognition and she's the only one left to stand yeah. for him. So mm -hmm. she's standing for him. It takes incredible courage. You can see her looking up and trying to mm -hmm. reinforce the fact, I am not here for me. It is not about me. Right. It's about him. It's about Ryan. And you know, God bless her for doing it in the midst of her grief to stand there and try to represent him the best way that she can. And you know what? President Obama did the same thing. There was no negative coverage. Uh, real quick, the Navy SEALs did rally around him. They found out who this guy was, who he worked for, wrote an email. He was fired by the end of the day yesterday. And who would ever hire him again with that type of value system? Uh, Taya, always great to see you. Thanks so much. Thank Thanks you, for having me. Thank you. you. Bet. All right, coming up, here's a message to anyone who thinks that we shouldn't secure our borders from a woman whose husband was murdered by an illegal immigrant. Borders have failed us. They are obviously wide open as the man was able to enter not once but twice without being detected. Coming up, why the killer was allowed to stay in this country. And is Sheriff David Clark heading to Washington? That's the rumor. I know one thing. He wrote, a, he wrote about law enforcement, his brand new book and his wonderful career. He's coming in our studio. In fact, he's very close. How are we coming?